Hi you guys, so I'm up about 8,500 feet. I know those knolls over there are like uh, 84, 85, and I am just about even. No, I'm a little bit higher than them by about 500, so 8,500 feet at least. And what we're doing is Chris is over there. He's flying the drone. He's near the bare spot. We're at the top of the tree line. I don't know if you can see him right there. He's getting ready to put the drone up so we can fly these bare areas up here where there's no trees to make sure Aiden didn't go up and over. We've been up here before, you guys, but we always walked this ridge line right here up to where Chris is at. And he's right in that area. You'll see him when he stands up again. What I've been doing is this gully right here. I probably walked about 15, 1800 feet up it and it's full of the scrub oak and small bush and stuff that's about waist high and I don't know if you can see my flagging, it's green, but I put one about every 50 feet to show my path and when I go back down I'm going to go back down through it again. I personally don't think there's any way Aiden would have come up this barefooted if he had another pair of shoes with him and that's why there was opposite pairs like that. Possibility. But after coming over that mountain there to come down into this valley, in this area here, they found his tracks and then let me show you guys where we found the shoes is way down the hill here I would say 15, 1800 feet at least down in the trees and his last known tracks or it went around the tree was on the side of this little ridge in this tree line right here probably four or five hundred feet down below, maybe even right in here that I'm not sure because I don't have a GPS that works up here so I can't get the exact location I don't have a Garmin that stuff but I don't think he came up through this even with shoes on, and I'll tell you why. We're fresh, and it's rough. And we only go down to the bottom. You see that sort of road down there? We're going down in the trees. That's what we're going to do. We're going to hide them. We're going to take it into the trees. Sorry about the wind. I'm wondering if he can get his drone up in this. Hopefully so. It will die down. Come on, Lord, give us some still stillness so he can fly that drone. When I go back down, though, I'm going to try to go down along the left edge of this ravine. Gully, whatever you want to call it. Give me a 360. So he'll be able to fly the top, no problem. He's behind us. There he is. There's Chris right there. He just stood up right there. So he's got a bare spot up there. He's above the tree line now. I thought he was going to fly from right there. It's really bare. And that's where we went down into the trees. We came from that direction where he's at. So we were all the way at the top before. And there's no reason to do that. He can reach he can re reach max maximum uh, altitude from there, no problem. And still drone all this. What we want to do is Chris is going to drone. See all this bare stuff up here where the trees are just barely spotted. So all of this up in here. See how it's all bare and spotted? He's going to drone all of this. And you guys, this is my assumption. Let's say it's one of these trees right over here. Aiden's circles went around it, barefoot or not. Let's say he had his shoes on there. Well, I know his shoes are down there where we found them, and I know he's barefooted after that time. Unless he had another pair of the opposites, you know, just like what he had left on the ground. But they found bare tracks down there, bare footprint tracks down there. So that leads me to believe no. Could I be wrong? I've been wrong before. But I really don't think I am in this case. And I'm glad we're up here droning this so we can eliminate it. Because I don't want to come up here again, you guys. It's not easy. It's, it's, it's as hard as you can get to climb up this. And 
I just don't think there's any way he could have done that. See that ridge way off in the distance is tan. That's Palomino Ridge, you guys. So Aiden was parked down at the very end of that way off. That's about 14, 18 miles from here, 14 at least. So we come over this ridge, down into the valley, and then over this ridge right there, down into that area, and then all the way up into some trees in this area. I just don't believe he went up and over. If he did, we'll search the other side, but not, not until we're fully satisfied that he's not in this area right here. That's where I believe he's at, is in those trees somewhere down there. And you guys, that's hell down there too. It's thick. And you can be five feet from anything here and miss it, I'm telling you. it's. I think we were very, very lucky. I, I, guys, I'm just going to say it. I believe in divine intervention. And I believe the Lord led us right down that wash to where we found it was a gravel run. And even though I'm the one that came across the shoes, it was a team effort. If Chris hadn't broke down that day, if Bria hadn't have been down the hill right from there, all of the above, we would have never found it. So it was a team effort, most definitely. And it's going to be a team effort when we find him, no matter who spots him. And that means everybody that was out here searching from, from the county to EquiSearch, if they were out here, to volunteers, all the information that I gleaned from the FOIA report is what led me to right here. And what led me to this area was phone pings. I knew there was tracks all over the place up here, so who knows which one was last. But I did know that wherever I got a phone ping, to search real hard. And that's what we were doing, and that's what led us to the shoes. And had I not gleaned that information off of the FOIA report between 60 to 65 miles due south of the tower in Wells, it wouldn't have led me to this spot. I would have had no clue. So... It was a big team effort, everybody, and I mean all the, everybody that's participated in searching for Aiden has led us to this spot. So I'm gonna let Pebbles cool off, you guys. It's really warm. She came up this behind me. I fed her three bottles of water already. I'm gonna let her cool off before we start back down. And I'm gonna wait for Chris to drone. I can see his hat over there. He's sitting on a rock. And I don't know if you guys can see him, but he's right there sitting down so I hear the drone so I'm gonna sit down rest let him fly then when I go down it's gonna be down this side of the gully I'm gonna talk him into going down on the opposite side of my flags and I'm gonna really comb from the edge of this gully the sides of the trees big Z's going down the hill switchbacks all the way down and mark it with my green flagging. This is what I've been using today. It's this stuff. And you can see it down the hill. Let's see. There's one. And it's down the gully went all the way through this all through this waste brush shit you guys it wasn't easy that tree you guys that Maria and i found with the we believe it's called witch's broom it's down in that area and for the life of me i haven't been able to spot it from up here the reason i want to check it is I believe there's a huge nest in the top of that witch's broom and it looks like it's full of white sticks and bones and I definitely want to find it again have Chris run his drone up and look in it I'm not going up that tree 80 feet to look in there and I'm guessing it's between 40 to 80 feet I don't quite remember I'd have to go back and look at the video again look, I hear Bria down the hill Here. You can wait. I saw an orange spot right in here. She might as well just stayed down there. It's a lot easier. You guys, this is tough. She could have just searched the tree line back and forth down there, and I'd be okay with that. 
this is rough as it gets and nobody should be ashamed for not being able to get up here I'm 62 years old in top shape for my age and I'm telling you it hurts to come up here it does there's flag there's flag hello We use whistles to communicate in Marco Polo. So I'm gonna pull back to normal. Sorry about that, you guys. I just wanted you to see what's going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. And uh, I'm not gonna do a video of the search down because of the steepness. I might, I don't know, depends on how I feel going down the hill, but I gotta sit down and get out where it's probably 85 already. And it's probably, I'm guessing, about 10 o'clock in the morning, 10.30. And we've already made it up this high. So I'll go ahead and sign off. And uh, appreciate you guys watching. Search Deseret.